Hello, pre-algebra students. This is Mr. Giumini. Taking a look at a couple of different problems from the units chapter 7 pretest that were missed by quite a few people, hoping that we could iron out our mistakes, or that we've learned some more during this unit, that we could correctly answer these on the post-test. So take a look at the first one. Zara biked for two hours at an average rate of 15 meters per second. How many kilometers did she bike? I'm going to solve this one the way I think many of you would solve it. I'm going to write down some information here. She biked for two hours at a rate of 15 meters per second. Now, we want to know how many kilometers she biked. Well, the first thing I know is that I believe it is one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Or I could reverse that and say, hey, one meter is equal to one thousandth of a kilometer. Okay, that's important to know, this conversion right here. They're the same one I just flipped them, but so if I take a look here, I want to figure out how many meters I want to figure out how much how, how many meters she covered actually in these two hours. So she went for two hours at a rate of 15 meters per second. Okay, so if she's biking at 15 meters per second, 15 meters per second, now I need to figure out how far she went in those two hours. So two hours is equal to, let's see here, how many seconds are in one hour? And we've done this several times, so I'm not going to spend too much time with the conversion. We know that that's 3,600 seconds in an hour. So if she did that for two hours, I'm just doubling this. So I'll times it by two. So that means she biked for 7,200 seconds. But she covered 15 meters per second. So to figure out how many meters she covered, I'm going to times this by 15 because every one of these seconds, she covered 15 meters. So if I take 7,200, 7,200, and I times that by 15 meters per second, she biked 108,000 meters in those two hours. Now, remember when I go back here, I said one kilometer equals 1,000 meters, or I could say one meter is equal to 1,000th of a kilometer. So to convert this to, convert this to kilometers, I'm going from meters to kilometers, so I'm going to times this by 1,000th. Now you could times it by that. You could also write one thousandth as this, ten hundred thousandth. So if I put that in my calculator, I have one hundred eight thousand times one thousandth. I'll use the decimal form. I have that Zara biked one hundred eight kilometers in those two hours. Okay. Next problem. The two triangles are similar. Use the scale factor to solve for x. So if I'm looking at these two triangles, I am seeing that from here to here, I'm going to call this, we'll call this triangle A, B, and C. And then I have triangle, I'll call this D, E, and F. So taking a look at side AB, if these two triangles are similar, use a scale factor to solve for, we need to solve for x. So here's my x. So I can see that side AB, which is 6, should be equal to side DE, which is 10 and a half. Okay? Now, I have to use side BC because that corresponds with side EF. Well, I know that side BC is equal to 8. I am trying to identify or solve for side EF, which I don't know, and I'm going to put an X there. Now we use our cross product. I have 6 times X, which is equal to 8 times 10 and a half. So 10 and a half times 8. Okay, 6X, it's a range 6X. Okay, 8, time, or eight times 10 and a half, 8 times... 5 is 40, so there's a 0. 8 times 0 is 0, plus the 4 is 4. 8 times 1 is 8. That doesn't give me 840. Remember, one decimal place, so I moved over once in my answer. So really, I have 6x being equal to 84. I am solving for x, not 6x's, so I'm going to divide both sides by 6. I'm left with x is equal to 6 goes into 8 once with 2 left over. 6 goes into 24. Four times, 
I know that x is equal to 14. Tell you about this one. I've already set up a pool for myself. A scale drawing of rectangle, rectangular swimming pool is 6 inches by 10 and a half inches. If the scale, the scale is a quarter of an inch is equal to one foot, what is the perimeter, so we're solving for perimeter, of the actual pool? So I want to figure the distance around this pool. Now I can see that I'll call this side here 10 and a half inches. This side here is 6 inches. Now I want to convert these to feet. Well, they give me the scale of a quarter of an inch is equal to one foot. So I'm going to take this and figure out how many quarters go into ten and a half because each quarter is equal to one. So I'll take ten and a half, divide it by one quarter or twenty-five hundredths, and I get this side is the same as forty-two feet. Well, because it's a rectangle, opposite sides are congruent, so that means this side is congruent to this side, so this side also is forty-two feet. Now I'm going to do the same thing for this. And again, rectangle opposite sides are congruent. So this side is 6 inches. Now it's how many quarters go into 6. So I'm going to figure out 6 divided by 1 quarter. So 6 divided by 25 hundredths gives me 24. That's 24 feet. So that side is kind of going to this side. So that is 24 feet as well. Now I have to solve for the perimeter. I have 42 and 42. That gives me 84. Done with those two measurements. Cross them out so I don't use them again. I have 24 and 24. That gives me 48. I add these together. 8 plus 4 is 12. 8 plus 4 is 12 plus 1 gives me 13. That'd be 132 feet for the perimeter. Okay. Take a look at another one. Bart is using two different size triangles to make a tile design. One side has sides of 4 inches, 6 inches, and 7 inches. The other has sides of 12, 18, and 20. Are the two triangles similar? Okay, so let's take a look at this problem here. Do I have any good triangles here? Uh, I guess I can use these two. This triangle here, this triangle here. Okay. Now, we know that... I, I know these are isosceles, but and these are obviously scalene but I'll just for sake of argument this is six four this is six this is seven uh, this is going to be 12 this is going to be 18 and this is going to be 20 because four corresponds with a 12 six corresponds with the 18 and then seven corresponds with the 20 okay we are trying to figure out if these two triangles are similar and then it says explain so I'm comparing triangle one two triangle 2. So let's use let's use 6 over 18. So triangle 1 we have 6 over 18 because this side here corresponds to the side that is 18 over here. Now that should be equal to, let's take a look, let's try 7 for triangle 1 over corresponding side is 20. I now do my cross products and see if these equal each other. So 18 times 7 is equal to 20 times 6. Well, I could do, let's see, 18 times 7. 8 times 7 is 56. 7 times 1 is 7 plus those 5 tens. 7, that's 7 plus 5. That gives me 7 plus 3 is 10 plus 2. That gives me 126. Does 126 equal 12 times 6, which is 120? These do not equal, so these are not similar triangles. If I were to explain this, I could simply say, and I'll type it to be faster. These two triangles are not similar because they're cross products are not equal. If I can spell equal. There you go. Alright. And that is it. Hope this helped you out. Uh, I will try to make a couple more later on in the week. Have a great day.